Hello everybody and welcome to our new Let's Play of Soma. Uh, this is a, a kind of a Amnesia the Dark Descent style horror game uh, with a sci-fi twist. Um, I, I've seen gameplay of this before but I haven't actually played it myself. So, uh, so this will be a semi-blind Let's Play. I just gotta look at my computer screen to make sure the lighting is good for that. Okay. So, I'm gonna check the options really quick. English, hints, video distortion effects, simple, I simple interaction icons? Not sure what that means. Controls, audio, subtitles on, closed caption on. Okay. Uh, monsters are dangerous and can kill you. You need to think uh, and sneak to survive. The way the game is designed for the start. Oh, only two difficulties. Who plays on safe mode? Oh, I, I think I saw that 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 was a, a option now. Something that they they updated it with. But nah, normal mode. This is taking over my uh, my banner saga slot right now. So it'll be a half an hour episode. Got a very uh, nice EKG, or or is that an MRI image of a brain? Some weird noises. Reality is that which, when you stop believing in it, doesn't go away. I just suppose that's Are you true. Okay, Simon? I think you're bleeding. Oh, that, that's nothing. It's just my brain can't stop bleeding from the accident. Here, take this. No, that, that's for later, for the scan. It's green. Ashley, I need to tell you something. Simon, please don't make this weird. No, no, it's not like that. <laughs> Why now? Who's David Munch? Why is there never enough time? For what? Ah, ah. Christ. Yeah, I'm up. Hi, Simon Jarrett? Yeah, that's me. My name is David Munchie. We spoke earlier. The brain scan. I remember. Are you all right? Yeah. Yeah, just a bad dream. Are, are we still on for today? Yeah, that's why I'm calling. I wanted to remind you to drink the tracer fluid I sent you. It'll help me capture a better image of the damages. Don't worry, I, I, I got it somewhere. Okay, great. Well, I'll see you in a couple of hours then. Okay, see you soon. Okay, apparently I was in some kind of an accident. Maybe more than one. Eh, it's a nice little apartment. So let's see. Where did I put the tracer fluid? That's a good question. Hooked. So I have enough money to for a family vacation to Hawaii uh, they've been uh, talking about for so long. The sun sets as Waukegi uh, Beach for the first day. Mark and Diana's paradise turns into a nightmare as swimmers are caught in thousands of thin strings stretching from somewhere below the waves. Slowly, swimmers are pulled screaming into the dark water. Desperate to get out of harm's way, their seven uh, their old child Charlie is caught by a vicious tendril. Spence, mystical and absolutely terrifying, hooked will pull you in. Interesting. What's this? 
Come on, radioactive tracer fluid, where are you? Okay. Hey Simon, it's Jesse. You working this weekend or what? I knew there was something you were doing. Was it this weekend or next? Anywho, just shoot me a mail or something. Love you, miss you, mean it. End of messages. I swear, that guy has the memory of a goldfish. I even sent an email to remind him, didn't I? I don't know. Low pixel clothes. How do I throw things? Can I throw things? This is important. Apparently not. Uh, tracer fluid. Tracer fluid. I think you get for pissing around. Research scan will be performed at Pace Laboratories in Toronto. Apparently I'm in Canada. But since we are guests, our access is a bit unpredictable. I will try and schedule a scan session for Saturday. I'll get back to you when uh, when confirmed. Sincerely, David Munchi. Uh, new prescription. I'm happy to hear that your headaches have become less frequent. Your latest tests show your brain is slowly recovering. But still early to too early to tell how well it will adjust to the damage. The bleeding will continue over the coming months, at least. And you will need to come to the hospital a few times to drain the cavity to prevent the blood from building up pressure. Since excess stress can, could be fatal, I have written you a prescription of prozosin to help you with your nightmares. Please read the instructions and... Uh, medicate accordingly. Try to get a lot of rest, and we'll see you next week. And here's a draft. Apparently, I did not send this email. Oh, I forgot to hit send. Since you probably forgot, here's a reminder. Here's me reminding you that I've got the doctor's appointment tomorrow. I am not coming to work. Into work. This means you need to make sure you're actually on time to open the store. And please unpack the boxes behind the counter. They are starting to become a workplace hazard. Also, books tend to sell much better if they're put on the shelves where people are able to actually see them. Good luck. You'll need it, Simon. Better late than never. Uh-huh. Well, apparently, X is jump. Doodles. Get well soon. Love, Mom. Cool. Downtown accident kills young woman. Yesterday, a driver distracted by her children ran a red light, causing her to blindside a car at the intersection of Bloor Street and Spadina Road. The mother and her children, traveling in a robust SUV, were left bruised but largely unharmed. The other party was less lucky. The car crashed into a passenger side Ashley Hall, 23, sustained devastating damages and suffocated from blood trapped in her lungs before the ambulance arrived. Her friend and driver, Simon Garrett, that's me, to a six survived was complicated results from permanent brain damage. The public claims it was an accident and practically unavoidable. Hmm. Well, that's what happened to me, apparently. Cinema Variety. Japanimation. Bigger than ever. Nobody says Japanimation. Apparently this guy likes uh, to, uh, or he likes photography. So the his girlfriend or something, possibly, died in the accident. Right. Watching TV gives me headaches now. Thank you, brain. Hmm.
massive recoil. So I like total recall. Anyway, I would have medicine in the bathroom. Apparently Simon would not. I'm just playing around with everything. I like how interactive everything is. It does remind me of Amnesia the Dark Descent. You take a shower. I don't want to keep the doctor waiting. I'll shower when I get back. All right, all right. Now, where is that? There it is. Okay. Use an object acquired. Press R2 with the items displayed on the screen. Bottoms up. Feels like milk, but the taste is like sucking on a penny. Yeah, that's tracer fluid for you. Oh. I was actually hoping it would break. Nothing but fast food. Should buy something healthier on my way home. What is this? This is crap. Okay. Uh, I think I got everything. I got the tracer fluid. I've looked at everything in the apartment. Here are my keys. My mail. Okay. Time to go. Right? Yes. Time to go. So I like the interactivity of this game so far. Um, voice acting seems uh, to be on point, at least for Simon. Graphics are okay. Nothing to write home about, but... Hi. Jesse. Jesse. Thanks. I should be able to come to the store after the scan. Don't sweat it. I got Matt and Chris help me out. Matty from SNL? Uh, guess you didn't hear. He's coming in full time. Work in the comic section. That's Ashley's job. Yeah. Well, you know. Uh, I Ashley didn't it. make it. Not doing her any favors by leaving an empty spot. Not like she's coming back. Well, good luck. Hope they find a way to reverse the whole, you know, dying thing. <laughs> Dying thing? You're the worst support ever. <laughs> what should I say? I'll see you later, Jesse. Don't burn the place down while I'm gone. Over and out, buddy. Know how you like it. 100% organic since 1999. This does look like a real subway. Hey, buddy. At least it looks like well, one in uh, in the uh, Chicagoland area that I live in. I can't I can't really say for Toronto. All I can say is it looks like a major metropolitan uh subway system. Ooh. How inviting. Hello? Dr. Munchie? Where is everyone? I thought this place would be busy. Get a little light in here. That is terrifying. That's better. This is the place, right? It must be. Let's just call Machi real quick. Great. Got his phone turned off. That's okay. I can figure this out. Okay, gotta find a keypad.
Paul, where are you? We've got a, uh, a few hours. I got hold of Simon Garrett. Let's do this. I saw your laptop on reception. Are you here? Call me ASAP. Scan now. Uh, get stuff ready. Hi, Paul. Uh, talk to Pace about using the lab this week. I have managed to book the scanner for tomorrow morning and again on Friday. It's not a lot, but they said we could use the empty reception area as a kind of office. It would allow us to use their computers to run mod models, and also, if a time slot opens up, we can get in there and use the scanner right away. Oh, when was this, uh, what? I think it's, I think, is this, is that the date? Uh, the current date? Yeah. Apparently that's the current date, on uh, May 2nd. 2015. So this takes... Was this made in 2015? I think it was made a little earlier than that. Or a little later than that. I thought we could run some tests tomorrow. We could do a scan of each other and learn the, to learn the equipment. It's supposed to be pretty easy. On Friday, I'm hoping Dr. Aaron Peak will send somebody over. She has a patient that was recently in a car crash. Should be interesting. David. We're locked out. Found some extra time in the lab today. Unfortunately, nobody told us the code change about the code change. I call, so I called security, talked to Professor Wei, to have him vouch for our project. Finally, got a hold of some honcho over at Pace's legal department that could regrant us permission to use the lab. I'm not allowed to repeat the code in mails or text, but I'll leave the note or something in case we forget. Okay, so there's a note with the key, with the password. That is the jump button. Two five zero one. Proved reverse project technique. No problem. Probably come over. What? I have no idea what these things mean. All I see is 2501. Oops. And just because I'm, I'm nosy. Trial and error. Put your scalpel away. The brain can heal itself. It's about getting the brain to do the right thing. About finding optimal treatment for each patient. Start by recording something called the Nakajima Neurograph. It's like a picture that indicates direction. Instead of a static brain scan, a neurograph can tell us where your brain has gone. So they're making an, uh, a, a complete 3D model of the neurological structure of your brain, I guess. That's what I take from that. put this in something. Oh, I lost it. Oops. Hope that wasn't important. Okay. Hello? around. Hello. Yeah, neurological scan. Scan calculation progress. It's a lot of code. No neurosurgeon. I want to make sure I didn't lock anybody out. Steve, all day. What does PACE stand for? Eh, who cares? Moving on. 
Hello. Oh, hi. Didn't hear you come in. Simon Jarrett, right? Dr. Munchie? Well, it's uh, just Mr. Munchie, but I'm working on it. <laughs> Actually, working I'm helping on you right it. now. Is this part of your thesis work? Yeah. It's a study I'm doing with my colleague, Paul Berg. We hope to design a gentle way to work with brain reconstruction to help people like you. Oh, did you uh, take the tracer fluid? Yes. Yes, I did. Great. Well, we can start whenever you're ready. Okay. Uh... Just looking around, being nosy. So, what exactly are we doing? We're going to do a scan of your brain. Then we build a computer model of it and bombard it with stimuli. The program will help us to quickly iterate your treatment plan until it's fully optimized. In short, develop the perfect treatment for your condition. So it's not just a study. This will actually help me. I should hope so. Otherwise, this would be a huge waste of time. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, sit in the creepy chair. Not creepy at all. All right, let me just get this out of the way. You are Simon Jarrett, correct? Right. Toronto, Canada, David Munchie. Born 1988, July 16th. Right. Flat neurograph, version 6. Good. All files in order. Will this hurt? It's just a scan. It'll hurt about as much as getting your picture taken. Indians thought cameras would steal their souls. Is that so? Well, let's hope they're wrong. <laughs> Ready? I think that's uh, foreshadowing. Definitely sounded like foreshadowing. Stealing your soul. Hello? What happened? Hello? Mr. Munchie? Did something go wrong? Um. This isn't funny. This isn't the chair I was sitting in. I, I'm not supposed to put myself in... This is kind of stressing me out! What the hell is this place? How did I get here? Is this blood? This looks like it might be blood. Okay, now for the sci-fi part. Nice, weird suits. Insert Omni tool to access. Pathos 2. Build, shape, and optimize your Omni tool for with full customized tools and assistance. I need to find me an Omni tool. Now this actually uh if I remember correctly, the video I watched originally of this, it took them a while to figure out what you're supposed to do because it's not really any direction, so you have to think, well let's get out of here. How do I get out of here? It's actually uh Oh, actually right there it says L1 to uh, throw an object. So, let's take this over here and miss. Let's try, let's try that again. Oh, that works. Okay. This is locked. Ooh. 
What a weird lock. Alright, I can get in and out of here with ease. Question is, where am I? Alright, circle is crouch. Weird growing computer stuff. Why is my vision blurring like that? Why is my vision blurring like that? Am I still in the, uh, am I in the Matrix? Might be in the matrix. Hey, you. Can you talk? Can you talk like the others? Why are you like this? some structure gel? Yeah, you do. So weird. Doesn't make any sense. I'm gonna shut you down now, okay? Yeah, you're creepy as hell, so I'm gonna shut you down. How did I do that? Hello? Apparently R1 is to lean. Hello? Ooh. Looks like something busted through there. Well, this is uh, sufficiently creepy. Let's check the bathroom. Ooh, kitchen. We got coffee, we got water. Home is a state of mind. Coffee machine. Yeah, we'll just ignore that for now. Oh, look at the clothes. Seriously. Creepy. We got spinach, rice, curry mix, miso soup. I want some miso soup. Futuristic refrigerator? Broken mirror. Okay. Well, we are sufficiently creeped out. Guess we'll head to the uh, service station next. Uh, almost at our time limit, though. Hello? Okay, so we'll call it quits now, uh, continue to explore this area next time. Uh, I hope everyone's sufficiently creeped out, because I kind of am. Until next time, though.
Thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you like this video, uh, please give me a like. Share, comment, subscribe. It always helps me out. And as always, have a good day and take care.